we are back for map two of HDC tonight on the 18th of November. You have a Pry House, 250 current server pop, 101 for the CSA, 104 for the USA. So nice and balanced. Uh, on the campaign board, this is um, just west of Petersburg, I guess kind of close to Appomattox um, courthouse area. This is um, EB's token has been attacked by the USAA token, which is a community piece. Uh, there's not much left on PB's piece. I believe it's below 500 men, so it is likely they will be wiped, but uh, we'll see if they can uh, extract a price from the CSA uh, in doing so. When I Okay, um, CSA in-game union in the campaign board, so they are swapped on this map again, uh, just to be aware of. So Both teams are moving out in a hurry. Looks like 79th was balanced over um, to help even out the teams. CB looks like Ollie's gonna try to uh, catch this union line here. They have a pretty thick line though. We'll see if he can do it. He used a fence for cover. Spreading out his men along the fence. Pretty good tactic. Oh come on, come on computer. Collapse on me. Come on now. See, they uh, blew a pretty hole, big hole in that line, but it was only actually four or five men. No, it was a pretty damn good volley because CB was able to spread out the field a bit. Uh, they minimized their casualties. But even with that, CB's going to pull their men back. Check out in the center here. We got PB. HL holding down. So it looks like the Union has chosen. I'm not going to be coy, so I was in the Union strat. Um, Union team. So they are at the moment foregoing this, uh, this side here. So the CSA is exploiting it, putting a lot of men over here. See if they can overcome the stone wall. There's a couple elements out here. 79th and SR. Targary on a cannon? He is on a cannon. Oh, looks like we've got a forward attack here. 42nd coming forward. We have a wide flank here. Is this CB again? Yep. CB doing another wide flank. Trying to get around the Union. IVV holding down the center. I don't think your mic is working. It's going to be up to these units here to guard 42nd. Here's 83rd. Oh, well, I missed that. 
Um, I'm sorry, Ace Jordan. They got hit pretty hard by that arty shot. And that has kind of disrupted. That was a well-timed arty shot. So now you see Ace Jordan has been basically knocked back. And 42nd is now isolated. In this center divot here. If they're not careful. They can get hit by these two sides here. They get squeezed pretty hard. 83rd is back here and might be able to get reorganized to give them support, but uh, all right, so Captain Hood has decided to go forward here and bring the attack up. Not a bad idea, actually. You can try to get a little bit of concealment from that bush. And it's a little bit of a divot here for most of his men. That already shot. I get sailed over. He is fighting CB, though. And now Hood's doing what CB did, using that fence like that. But CB is also using good concealment, using that bush. Trying to minimize their exposure. At least, you can't see him as easily. You can see, not too many men are going down at the moment. So, not a bad little uh, positioning. See, a lot of guys are going down are the ones on this side. The ones over here aren't going down as much. So we've got some maneuvering going on. There's the rest of CB and the Ollie. IMVB putting down some heavy volleys. So it looks like CB has had to pull back into the woods. They were taking too much fire from 42nd there. But a lot of arty shots coming in. Giving support on this right side. Here comes 17th with an attack, she went by 20th against 79th. They're gonna fall back, but these might be out of lines of skirmishers. It's dangerous to be up there with those uh, tickets. So we have the Union moving up a little bit here. They're taking fire from multiple sides here. And that is going to be a problem here momentarily. Oh, they got him in the fire. They got him in the kill zone now. Good teamwork maneuver here by CB. I think both of these elements were CB. That makes sense. A little push off the Union there. IVB moving up. Let's check in on the center. A Georgia Knight has brought his guys up the center. Support HL and PB. Break it 
I just found in room. At least you saw they saw they were outflanked. They're gonna fall back a little bit. HL is uh, trying to provide some supports. Trying to tie down nice core out there. Here we go. 42nd trying to knock back CB. CB has set up two angles of fire, and they also have additional support here. IVB has joined in as well. They're getting hit. Pretty good volleys coming down from 8th Georgia against them. Trying to get a better angle here. I just tripped. E third is readjusting. Let's see if they can deal with the problem. George has come back out here to guard the flank. So I, I like this formation a lot. So you have the main line here, 42nd. And you have guarding the left side is 83rd. Guarding the right side is 8th Georgia. So pretty good team there. And HL is going to come and join them as well. That leaves only this PB element along with 79th on this far side. So mo almost his entire fight has now drifted over to this side. They might be trying to draw out the CSA to try to cap. Oh, and they're going forward in the charge here. It is open ground. But they were at the independent fire, so they might be calculated. They could get enough men across. And it was a good gamble. And it has paid off well for them. So they have been able to seize this portion of the field. Can they hold it though? CB's going to try to contest it. This Tiberius putting down some fire. And they managed to do it. Question is, do they hold this position or are they falling back? All right, the answer is they're falling back. They were just looking to get some tickets. But not a bad maneuver at all. They made a calculus. Hey, it's open field, but they're the independent. They get the men across fast enough before they get too many shots. So good call there by the Union team. Got this PB Elman doing Yeoman's work. Trying to hold down the center. Mr. Targary. Trying to get a shot off. I heard he's got a uh, Portuguese guy that usually does this for him, though, so uh, see how he does by himself. Might have been a cattle in. I don't know. They ask him. That 20th has moved up here. 20th was uh, quite sneaky the last round. Was getting able to get across the uh, riverside, riverside, river crossing. Um, I'm on, boys. For the other main elements, was able to cause a lot of trouble in the back line. Yeah. 
taking a more um, stable position this time. I think the CSA team, um, just explain why something might be going on, is um, they know they only need to kill 500 to win the match. That's it. So anything additional really doesn't help them all that much. So I think they're trying to preserve their tickets as best they can. That, might, that could explain why they're being a little bit more conservative in their play style at the moment. Not uh, looking to take too many casualties. Okay, here comes 42nd, 83rd. Renown. Although a wide flanking maneuver here by CB. Using the full depth of the field. We'll see if they can get on the flank of this combined element here. See how they set up their defense. It might be wise to put a security element watching the left side. They got an opportunity. Here comes. It's an element. Sergeant Sold is here, leading up an element of CB. He's about to run into the hood if he's not careful. Yep, here's that security element. So it looks like it's 83rd. They're going to have to try to stop the CB attack until 42nd comes up. But here comes 42nd. Mattis reacted, and they're charging in. There they go. They managed to hold it. Looks like Knight's gonna try to do a pop volley. Let's see how he does. guys have some of the best volleys I've seen in the game, to be honest with you. They don't have a lot of players in this current match right now, but they have well-aimed volleys. They're quick. And he gets them into good spots to let them loose and then maneuver off. So they pack a nasty punch. And oh, Lord, HL, I am sorry about that. That is a... Uh, <laughs> he got hit hard. Take aim and fire. There's two guys left alive. Yes, 79th here, just poking out on the side here. They're actually doing a good job for skirmishers, just trying to not lose men, just kind of, you know, better draw up some fire, get some shots in. Right now, it looks like they're tangling with 17th Michigan, which is probably uh, more than they need to. Although, here's 9th Corps fighting against his center position. They're holding for now. Bit of a turkey shoot right now for IVB catching uh, those three elements. I think it was 83rd and uh, 42nd as they're retreating Stop, back. So good adjustment of fire in them, and then you also have CB that's been fighting with them all day over on this side. So right now CSA is well ahead, but again, I believe the uh, Union team on here is just trying to get as many casualties as they can get. Second is going to do here along with 83rd. Still like CB spreading out the fence. 
Bombs are coming in, but not nearly enough going down. Eighty third and forty second to get a pull back. C B standing strong. Still got coverage from IVB as well. He's twentieth. <laughs> Always looking for an angle. HL moving up. Supported by Knight. Now this is interesting. Um, so CSA has capped. East Georgia got hit pretty hard there by IVB, but HL is going to try to take advantage of it. But I don't think I don't know if they have enough combat power to do it. Here comes a big melee in the center now. So the CS, well, let's see, yep, the CSA team will definitely hold this. I think this actually works a bit in the, um, but we'll see, we'll see.
right here by Ali in the uh, CB. They now have good flank and fire on the Union. Uh, the rest of the CSA keeps them off of the points. Good awareness by them, and now the Union is at breaking. So if the CSA wants to avoid casualties, they might have an opportunity to recap point in the match quickly and try to preserve as many uh, men for the campaign as they can. And that looks like what the, that is exactly what they're doing. Here they come. So now the Union's going to have to try to make this a battle for the point. CB is going to try to sweep them off. And it looks like a full charge by both teams. See the CSA can manage to push them off. They are winning. CSA is doing the right thing by pushing forward, keeping the Union as far off point as they can to try to end this match. And has to flush forward, not only flush forward, but get his men on the point. Looks like they're doing it. 79th coming in. You got 42nd providing some good fire. And the Union is now at last stand, but they have almost gotten the CSA down to a final push. Trying to maximize those casualties for them. Watch straight down. I got a feeling an artist shot's gonna come in here any second. Yep, I uh, missed, so. Right up, right down the side of the road. Fire up! Trying to decide which one I want to watch. Is so many good options. Just 
Fucking boy. Final push. I think the Union met its objective for this match. And that is it. So an interesting match. Um, both the, I think the campaign drove a lot of the tactics in there. We'll see on the casualties if it paid off. Uh, if, main thing is the um, in-game CSA casualties will be, be the Union casualties uh, for the campaign board. If it's lower, it's the CSA um, CSA campaign didn't meet its objective. It's higher than the Union met its objective. But See here, yeah. Sorry, you knew it would not have been. It. So PB is wiped. But they took down a good amount with them, 723. Uh, for the casualties for the uh, CSA on their token, so a good amount of damage done as PB is wiped on that uh, USAA token. And that is it for tonight. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. I was a little bit more vocal on this one. Uh, let me know if you prefer me being a little bit more quiet, and also if you prefer me to go back to the old uh, system of focusing on one unit versus watching, uh, trying to watch the whole field. So let me know what you guys prefer. Anyways, Kotal, signing off.